Welcome to learning console programs. Console programs. Uh, yes. What's a program? Program. It's a program. <laughs> Basically, these are just tiny little programs that are kind of mixed Fun, in with shell that you can do little cool little stuff with. Now, the very first one we're going to take a look at is a very simple command, and it doesn't really do much. It just tells us who we are logged in as. And it's very so. So there was a guy that goes into the airport, okay. and he goes to to get a ticket. And they mm -hmm. were like, "Sir, you got to get to the back of the line. You just get in front of ten people." And he goes up to the lady and he goes, "Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am?" And you know, it, and she called security and she goes, uh, "Security, there's somebody here that doesn't know who he is. So how can we help this fella out?" All we have to do is do exactly what he said. Who am I? That was a bad joke, huh? Yeah, it was a horrible joke. That was a story. <laughs> who <laughs> am I? Enter. Tells us wow. who we are. That's the name of the user. So, I for instance, that. you know, how we know our name. Yeah. Because there's a program in our brains constantly it's running dirty. called Who Am I? Right? Now Linux has it. So, like, if I run Who Am I on my brain, I think Pretty Little Princess. I mean... Brian. <laughs> no, that, that's just your father dressed you up in a tutu when you were a kid and it's traumatized you. Trauma? What do you mean traumatized? Well, I mean, you know. He was happy. Yeah, it was you one of his happiest good times. I know. Do you think Wimp started out as a video tutorial website? <laughs> right. That was just deleted. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. an offshoot of our Kama Sutra website. <laughs> My people designed the conversation. Hi! The Indian girl in the back has something to say! <laughs> With the conservative audience within like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the serious computer user is gonna be like, what the f is this? Gay sh <laughs> Joining us now is the Indian. The Indian. We call her. Madurka Durka! <laughs> Muhammad Jihad! <laughs> yeah, well. I love Durka Durka! Muhammad Jihad! Ah. Wrong cotton. Okay, so Molly's actually gonna sit in with us while we continue our console program segment. The next one we're gonna do is the Echo Command. Mm. What the hell does Echo do? If you were to yell something at a canyon and you were like, backslash niner bf4 dot dot slash. Colon. Colon. And then when it bounces off the canyon, it comes back saying, hello world. Yes, because you said binary. Right. And then that was translated into English. Or like, yeah. So why don't we type, try this. Echo. And then we will type, hello. Does that look good to you? Mm, more or less. Enter. What did it do? It echoed hello world. It said hello world on the console screen. So the next one we're going to do is date. Molly, would you like to go out on a date? Not with you. Oh. Damn. Brian, would you like to go out on a date with me right now? I'll go out with you. Pat will go on a date with me. And here's the cool thing about that. See, if Pat goes on a date with me, I can know exactly when it would be by typing the date command into my Unix computer. Because it tells me what the date is. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Better, big guy. So, me and Pat are going out on Monday, February 20th at, this time is incorrect, but 349.56. UTC 2000. UTC 2006. Alright. Isn't that pretty badass? So all it does is it echoes the current date in that format. Mm. And I believe you can actually change the format, but you can read the man page yourself and figure that out and toy with it. Yes, sir. Why don't we um, set a date for sometime later this week? All right. Okay, so let me clear the screen. Molly? Yes. Okay, good. And now what we're going to do is type Cal. Like Kama Sutra, but not. All right. Cal. What this does, check this out, I actually do think this is kind of neat. It prints a little ASCII calendar, isn't that cool? Well, it is not. That's cool. Yeah, so it prints like a little ASCII calendar and then it shows you what the date, highlights the current date is. So Pat, uh... When's our date? We will go out February 28th, Big Daddy. Alright, you better not stand me up like last time. Baby, I would never do that to you. Alright. Alright, so now that uh, me and Pat have our date set together, we're gonna do, and uh, I don't know, this doesn't work on all Unix systems. Let me do clear. I'm gonna try the show key command. Nice. Let me just make sure it works before this I... Is fun. Although oh. I think you have to do uh, space... And show then key... Whatever the thing is, like space hex, try that. Hex? Maybe. Nope. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. So, alright. Okay. Clear. Alright, so now we're gonna do the... Uh, Show key command. The show key command. What is the show key? This show key command is actually really cool. Yeah, it's pretty much... <laughs> well, it's, it's almost like a key logger that just logs it to the screen. Okay. Kind of. So anything you type, it shows you the actual like code behind the characters. So we could do show key, and then we have to have an option, right? Dash A for ASCII. All right. Enter. 
Press any key. Enter. <gasps> wow. So what this did, so this shows. is the character that the um, that the enter key creates. Mm -hmm. And this is the value, what is that, in hexadecimal? Uh, yeah, I think at first it's the integer value, then it's the hex value. Okay, yeah, so this this would be the integer value on the ASCII so it's chart. it's kind of like the letter F. So wait, uh, in, in, okay, we'll do the letter F now. F. So it creates the F character. So the, the like, ASCII integer value, like the, the integer reference the, value. The decimal value, right, in, on the ASCII right, chart? Right, right. So it's lowercase... Like the index value on the ASCII chart is 102. And capital F are completely different characters. Mm -hmm. They mean... At first it goes through A through Z, then it goes through lowercase A through Z. Right. So this is kind of cool. So I can sit here and just yeah, type no, a whole bunch of crap. Yeah. And you can just see how quickly... I'm, I'm just sitting here randomly smacking the keyboard. How quickly the keyboard reacts to me touching the keys. Mm. And how... This is basically how it maps the character. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And I believe Control D gets me out of it. Clear? Next one that we're going to go to is... I can type exit right now. Yeah, yeah. The next command that I want to kind of go over is the exit command. Let's say I was running a show, and I wanted to exit this. Yeah. Oh. How do I do that? You could type in exit. Exit. It takes me right back Boom. to my desktop. Yeah. And there's also a... I'm going to open up another shell. Now for rebooting the system as well as shutting down the system, you can use halt or reboot. Halt will shut the system down. Without the U. I'm sorry. <laughs> halt will shut the system down. Right. And reboots will reboot the machine. Mm -hmm. So should we show one or should we just... You can just assume that work. You can try it out for your own self. Try it out on your own system. When you type halt, your computer will turn off. When you type reboot, it will... I have all of my first semester account. Reboot itself. And that's it for uh, console programs. There's other ones. Okay. There's plenty more, but those are the simple basic ones that we just went over. So have fun with those, and we'll see you in the next one.